Bottom text. It's Brittany, bitch. Touch the orb. Send from my iPhone. How does this make you feel, Lainey? Bottom text. I, I, are you reading or are you just telling me? I'm telling you. I feel like bottom text. The natural state of being. Hello and welcome to Calbus. My name is N. With me today is Lainey. Hello. And we're doing a little bit of oddities and curiosities. Things to make you just question shit. Only the porb guiding the direction of life. Relieve your worries. Applicable <laughs> people, 14 years old, but. <laughs> is it worrying that I know exactly what this is? It's one of those socket wrenches that, like, you can do at an angle, right? Oh, yeah, maybe. If. Okay, wait, no, hold on. Okay, you just mentioned that, and it could be that, yes. I thought it was like one of those little kind of radio antennas that you screw in and you could just like adjust to get signal. Oh shit, yours actually, yours actually makes way more sense. <laughs> it's that bit at the end that looks like a socket wrench. Yeah, but I'm also curious as to what that thing is. Looks like a... Uh, it looks like an aquarium bite? rock. It, it, You know those rocks that you can like... The decorative rocks that you can put in aquariums that fishies hide in it? it looks like yeah, one of those. Yeah, made of bacon. I know those. A radio globe that plays radio stations from wherever you position the pointer. Okay, this is cool. Yeah, that is kind of cool. Oh, that's so cool! Whoa. I am pretty sure I know how, how this works. How? I was just about to ask, how does this work? There is a website that you can go to, which does exactly this. You basically tell, you just point it towards like a radio station somewhere in the world and you just listen to it. So I'm wondering if this is just connecting to that as like a, um, a web server. And it's just, mm -hmm. it's just using the positional thing there as to like, oh, this is the coordinates of where it is on the, on the website. Yeah, that's pretty freaking cool. I, I want this. I, I would absolutely love this. I feel like it would be very easy to break, though. Oh, extremely. And if you broke it and it's stuck on, like, I don't know, fucking Japanese radio, <laughs> so it just torments you. <laughs> Speaking of tormenting, torment us right now by going down and hitting that subscribe button. Oh, that'd be awful. Oh, God. How, how could you do this to us? By following us? Oh, oh no. gross. Oh, Ew. no. Parasocial activity. A pen that is for writing just first words only. Squeak, squack, squawk, squeak, squile. Clam? I'm sorry, what? Clam? Why, why does that say clam? Why? Why? <laughs> the bottom one says God. Uh, <laughs> heal, yeah! Cool! Don't forget the dork police. Also, I really love the fact that it's just been kind of like scratched out, but 10 fing colors. <laughs> I did not get any rhyme nor reason as to how you were censoring those words. Because you got, <laughs> you've got clam. Oh no, clam. You got like child or something from there? It's like, hmm. <laughs> Uh, I mean, usually whenever I'm trying to censor myself for these videos, I usually go with Squeak, Mew, and me. You know what? You came up with new ones. Add them to your roster. Be careful around the fabric of reality, Garfield. Uh, <laughs> you can't tell me what to do, John. Garfield just does not give a crap. Look at that. He's like, I'm going to lick it. I'm going to bite it. This is just flat lasagna. Everything's flat lasagna. <gasps> oh my god. I think it. I think the post said cat nook. It's a cat nook for an aquarium. That's so cool. Oh. I would be terrified the cat would just break it though. Unless the cat is chill like that. Oh, he is. He's cooking mentally. Building fish tower in a pond. Not. You see. Made myself an idea rig to embrace my inner scav. Okay, so it's actually kind of cool. It's um, think like uh, airsoft paintball that kind of stuff is just making yourself like a little kind of um ammo bandolier using ikea bags oh it's supposed to say ikea rig not idea rig oh uh, my god yeah they're embracing their inner scav they don't know how to spell ikea yeah it was, it was just i mean that's cool but also what's a scav oh scavenger yeah uh, okay. the reason you should avoid the water in australia spiders oh uh, not just spiders Oh my god. What? Is that a Oh yeah. That's a big one. Oh. I can never tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator. Which one is this? Uh it's hey, coming towards you, so that's a crocodile, because an alligator, you'll see later. Uh okay. Look at that, he's just he's just like patting the head. Like I would not be that 
close to it. Not no. a chance. Uh-uh. 3,000 arrests, including his own criminal son, and only 14 kills at the height of gunslinging in the Wild West. This insane feat was done by none other than Bass Reeves, a freedman turned U.S. Deputy Marshal. That's cool. Bam. This guy is so freaking cool. 3,000. that mustache. <laughs> Each one of those hairs is a, an arrest. Throughout USS Triton's secret mission to circumnavigate the world submerged, the only unauthorized individual to spot the submarine during those 60 days was a Filipino man on his canoe who noticed its periscope April 1st, 1960. That dude's probably so confused. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? Guys, there's this weird metal thing in the middle of the ocean. What do I do about it? I'll get the net. Guys, you ever feel like somebody staring at you? I, I, what if it was just like one of those moments where they're both just like turning their heads and their eyes lock <laughs> and they knew. They just oh, knew. So mean. Submerged, mate. That's just two bottoms that'll get together. Massive windstorm buried this house in tumbleweeds today. Oh, whoa. What do you do? Do you get the shovel? Do you get the like the shears? What do you do with this? Uh, the rake? How do you deal with tumbleweeds? Oh, you just get a lighter. Oh, no. <laughs> that is a terrible <laughs> idea. What do you mean? It'll get rid of it. it it's like... um. They'll get rid of it in the house, in that van, in that truck. No, no, no. Okay, hit me out on this one, right? Oh, uh, it'll be like, it'll be a flash fire. Get rid of those tumbleweeds. It'll yeah, be... a flash fire that'll get rid of that van and that car and that house. It wouldn't, it wouldn't get to that heat. It wouldn't do too much damage. Maybe a bit melted, but that's all. That's all. The house will be fine afterwards, after you've if rebuilt you it. Say so. After you rebuilt it. The Canadian Naval Diving Academy celebrates graduation by taking their class picture underwater. Okay, that's cool. Okay, that's really cool. But that guy on the far right straight up looks photoshopped in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> like, he was not there. <laughs> Dude can hold his breath. It's Wait, fine. no, straight up. Everyone on the far right just looks like they don't belong. They no, do not. No, there's a couple of guys on the left, too, that don't look like they belong either. Also, also, hang on. Wait. You usually put the shortest person in the front. Why is the shortest person in the back? <laughs> he's, he's chilling. He's great. He's having fun. <laughs> Oh, well, at least you don't have to worry about a bad hair day with this kind of photo. Uh, I mean, some of them are bold, so I guess not. I don't know why I needed to point that one out. Uh. 2001, a man wrestled a seven-foot bull shark to retrieve the severed arm of his nephew. After saving the boy, the man dived back in, seized the shark, and wrestled it to shore where a ranger shot it. The arm was pried from its gullet, put on ice, rushed to the hospital, and successfully sewn back on. Dang. That's a hell of a story. <laughs> Did they get to keep the shark? I think at this point he owns it. Like that that shark is just like, you're mine now. Like how, like nobody would believe this story unless other people saw it. Yeah, I was more so thinking like, all right, bitch, if you're going to steal my nephew's arm and then I'm going to eat you for dinner. Oh my God. Can you he... eat bull shark? I, you can eat everything at least once. Yeah, at least. Twice if you're fast. This dolphin is the next avatar. Who can go? Whoa. He's just chilling in captivity because there's nothing much is else a, to do. Oh, it's a it's a bubble ring. Yeah. I was wondering what that. Okay, so when I was a kid, I loved dolphins, and then I learned more about them. And oh, they're assholes. Oh yeah, one hundred freaking percent. My perception of them has very much Changed. gotten worse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the exact same for me, but I still, I always do still love the uh, dolphin LSD story. Dolphin LSD story. <laughs> The, the <laughs> yeah, they submerged like a, an apartment with a scientist in it and uh, basically kept all the water like laced with LSD to see if the dolphin could communicate with the woman easier. What? Okay, I need to Google this. <laughs> this is a real unaltered picture taken by photographer. Oh, no. No, that's oh. Kenichi Ono. <laughs> I, I, was, I was saying oh, no, because I was like, how the hell do I say that name? And I didn't even realize the last thing. <laughs> oh, no. Ahem. <laughs> Taken by photographer Kenichi Ono. Okay, I, I tried for so long to try and notice what this is. Like, from my understanding, this is just like a different type of water next to like, uh, it's like fresh into salt, so it doesn't really mix too well uh, initially. And then there's like the, looks to be like a, a wall maybe at the back, and there's just like a hard line. And that's the, ref I see it. No, that's not different water. That's just the reflection of the wall. I get it now. Uh, 
Oh, yep. That makes sense. Oh. Wow. I was working from the down up. I should have been working from up down. Okay, got it. Johnny Kim, aged 40, is an American US Navy Lieutenant Commander, former SEAL, Naval Aviator, Physician, and NASA astronaut. Ho, oh, he's been busy. Also, straight up, when I first saw this, I thought this was a joke and this is just a porn actor. Wait, what? Okay, I'll... <laughs> so this guy's done like three incredible things, right? He's done. Not just three, mm -hmm. he's probably done a lot more. He's been he's Navy SEAL, Harvard doctor, and a NASA astronaut, basically. Um, he's done three incredible, difficult things to do in life. I thought the, yeah. this was like just a porn actor, and someone was trying to like play it off. Yeah? <laughs> HR, after checking his CV, has a lack of, a commitment. Lack of commitment. The thing is, though, is they would probably pull that shit. Yep. <laughs> Mushroom that goes by the name of Dead Man's Toad. No, no, yeah, yeah, I, I see it. Those uh, look like zombie toes. Yeah, gross. Um, if I was walking, Zen, hmm? Zen, you're posting feats for freeze. Uh, oh, sh mosaic. Uh, patron, if you want to see full full feetsies. <laughs> Whilst I'm at it, oh god, I'm the one editing this. I'm adding myself more work. Add little red shoes beside it. This was the this was the witch, the wicked witch. Oh my god. <laughs> Some very interesting Victorian era slangs. Eat a giggle mug, always smiling. Bitch the pot, pour the tea. Got the morbs. <laughs> it's morbing time. Temporary sadness. Tight as a boiled owl. Drunk, hoped up, embarrassed, uh. sauce box, the mouth, Cupid's kettle drums, the breasts, and not up to dick. Unwell. Oh, 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 tag yourself, tag yourself. Which one are you? <laughs> One to eight? Yes. Yeah, no, same, but I'm usually not up to dick. <laughs> I got the mobs, though. <laughs> same. <laughs> what in the satisfying world? You ready for this? Yes. Ooh. What? Oh, what? yeah! What? Look at it go! <laughs> go, little buddy, go! <gasps> Holy, uh, is how, how, physics, excuse me, hello, uh, <laughs> world, I would like to report a bug, what, yo, it, what just, yo, uh, what did I just witness? Yo, put it, put this on whatever country it is, got talent, this thing's going far. Okay, before I start this one, how squeamish are you? Uh, depends on the squeamery. Okay, I'm gonna full screen this one. Abnormal activity caught on camera? What? Do you see that? At Wait. the bottom of the screen, a small orb can be seen floating across. <laughs> Wait, hold. No, 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 yep. no, no. Here we no. go again. Back Here we it go. up. Back yep. it up. Back it up. He's trying to back it up. They had their torso 180 degrees. How? Why? Ow, 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 ow. Oh, my spine snapped straight in half just watching that entire thing. Like, if you look in that helmet, it's just glowing bright green. They snapped their spine like a glow stick. <laughs> it, you it, sound so skeptical. <laughs> it, it's just... Uh, contortionists. Contortionists are very... Contortionists aren't real, Laney. The contortionists are real. We literally just witnessed one. They're not real, Laney. Yes, they are. Contortionists are a psyops from the US government. Sadly, though, that's enough for today. Oh, that's enough? That's enough? Contortionists aren't real, Laney. <laughs> yes, they are. We literally just witnessed one with our own eyeballs, <laughs> caught on camera, for the what? world to see. As for black magic fuckery. If you want to see more of these types of videos, let us know down below. We might do some more. We are going to do some more, so stick around for them. Hey, but on that note, I have been your host, Zen. With me has been Lainey. You have a good rest of your day. Or else.